This is a video that explains how the energy balance is applied to different process equipment. In the industry, there are different types of equipment used such as heat exchangers, nozzles, compressors, etc. And it is important to know how each of these equipment performs in terms of energy usage. So let's have a look at them with mathematical modeling minds. The movie talks about the energy balances of following equipment. Heat exchanger, turbine, compressor, pump, nozzle, diffuser and throttling valve. First, let's have a look at how the complete energy balance is applied to a heat exchanger. In a heat exchanger, one of the streams is cooled while the other is heated. The figure illustrates a simple shell and tube heat exchanger having a parallel flow pattern. That is, both fluids flow in the same direction. The hot stream temperature must be higher than the cold stream temperature at every point of the heat exchanger. We write the energy balance for this heat exchanger depending on the system of interest. In a heat exchanger, the streams are physically separated by solid wall and therefore we can apply the energy balance for each of these streams or to the entire heat exchanger. First I am going to apply the energy balance to the stream A of the heat exchanger. If the system is operating at steady state, the accumulation term goes to zero. Further, Inlet and outlet mass flow rates will be equal at steady state. Kinetic and potential energy changes are negligible. There is no shaft work or expansion contraction work. The flow work can be represented as PV times M dot. U plus PV is the enthalpy. The energy balance for a heat exchanger can be represented as the change in enthalpy times mass flow rate. Keep in mind that the enthalpies are specific enthalpies. What if we select our system as the entire heat exchanger? So the complete energy balance is applied to both streams and Q dot becomes zero. As we did before, we use the flow work to build the equation in terms of enthalpy. The total enthalpy input to the heat exchanger is equal to the total enthalpy out. It can be written in terms of both fluid streams A and B as given in this equation. Turbines Turbine is an equipment that converts the kinetic energy from a gas stream or steam flow into rotary motion of a shaft to produce work. The enthalpy of high pressure inlet fluid is converted to kinetic energy by stators. Stators are placed inside the turbine and are stationary. They are a type of nozzles that increase the kinetic energy of the incoming fluid stream. The high velocity gas stream then drives the rotor. Turbines are designed to be adiabatic. That means there is no loss of heat. Practically, this could be difficult to achieve. But in calculations, we assume the turbine is adiabatic unless otherwise specified. And apply the energy balance to the entire turbine which involves only the entering and exiting the fluid. If the system operates under steady state conditions, the accumulation term goes to zero. Kinetic and potential energy changes are negligible. We rearrange the energy balance equation after including the flow work term and also put the Q dot and expansion contraction work to zero. Then we obtain the energy balance equation for an adiabatic turbine. Compressor Compressors increase the pressure of a fluid. Axial compressors can be constructed 
qualitatively similar to turbines. The main differences between an axial compressor and a turbine are the details of the construction of vanes and rotors, the direction of the fluid flow and the shaft work. The turbines produce work while compressors we must put work in. The energy balance for a compressor is similar to the energy balance of a turbine. Pumps The pump provides sufficient pressure to move fluid through the system at the required flow rate. They are in principle similar to compressors. Here we do not going to see how the pumps inside function but consider it as a black box whose function is to increase the fluid pressure at a given flow rate. The difference is that pumps are basically used for liquids while compressors are used to compress gases. So through a pump the density of the fluid will not be changed as that happens in a compressor. The energy balance for a pump is similar to a compressor. Nozzles In nozzles, pressure drop is converted to kinetic energy. The fluid velocity increases in the direction of flow due to the reduction in flow area while pressure is reduced. Nozzles are used in turbines to convert the enthalpy of the incoming stream into high velocity before it hits the turbine blades. We can apply the steady state energy balance to the nozzle illustrated here. The potential energy changes are negligible along the flow. No heat transfer, no expansion contraction work and no shaft work. Increase in fluid velocity causes decrease in enthalpy. That shows in the energy balance equation. Diffusers Diffusers are the opposite of nozzles. The fluid velocity decreases in the direction of flow due to the increase in flow area while pressure is increased. We can apply the steady state energy balance to the diffuser. Potential energy changes are negligible along the flow. No heat transfer, no expansion contraction work and no shaft work. Throttling valves. Throttling valves create significant pressure drop in the fluid flow and this pressure drop is usually accompanied by a temperature drop. These valves are used in refrigeration and air conditioning applications in order to obtain the temperature drop of the working fluid. There is no significant velocity increase through the valve and it operates adiabatically. There is no expansion contraction work or shaft work. So for valves, inlet enthalpy is equal to outlet enthalpy. This is the end of this movie about energy balances for different process equipment. If you have any questions or concerns of the content of this video, please leave a comment. If you really like the video, give thumbs up and subscribe for the channel and press the bell icon for new video notifications. Thank you.